Hi guys and welcome to another video. So in this video, we're going to talk about the state of the art on speech recognition. Uh, I'm going to make a tutorial on how to use uh, some of these models, but uh, if, just for the guests, I um, need to give you some background on why this is such an important um, thing. So Facebook created a method, I would say, of training speech recognition from unlabeled data called uh, wave to vac which pretty much uh, mimics the same thing that uh, words to vac did for learning um, word embeddings. So this method uses the same um, logic. And it, it, it applies to, it's applied to uh, wave um, and it does use transformers which are the new state of the art on many uh, natural language processing tasks. Okay, so you guys can read the blog post to get more a more of a background on why this is such a milestone on speech recognition. So we've got some uh, benchmarks here. So we're gonna use a model from the Hugging Face. Which is use it's Hogan Face uh, is a company that has a repository with many models. So if you click models here, I'm just gonna test online, go to here, let's go with automatic speech recognition. Let's test the let's see a model that I want to test. There's this one here that was that is from Facebook. I'm gonna test this one. I'm gonna show you guys how it works. So this is the model, uh, which has two hundred and two uh, two hundred twelve thousand downloads. So I'm going to record a simple sentence. You you can do inference uh, on the web browser, running on their servers, which I I think um, if you want to use offline, you cannot do that. So let's let's record some clip and test. Try it out, okay. I am testing speech recognition. <laughs> okay, let's let, let, let me go back again. I'm testing speech recognition using. I need one more uh, attempt. Okay, uh, let's go. <laughs> okay, let's go. I need to calm down a little bit. I'm testing speech recognition using word to vac. I'm testing speech recognition using word to vac. It's not worth to okay. It's actually wave to vac. I'm testing speech recognition using wave to vac. I'm testing speech recognition using wave to vac. Okay, let's compute. Uh, it's gonna load the model into memory. Uh, and I think um, that should work. Unless I did some kind of mispronunciation, which I certainly did there. But let's see how it goes. Okay, I'm, t I'm tasting speed review. So this mod is not the best. Uh, you can check the word, which the word error rate. Um, it's not that great. There's better models out there. Uh, I'm going to test this one. Let me see if I have another one. Okay, let's test this one. So uh, to do this, you need some some libraries, which I'm going to show you guys. Let's just start coding. Um, so I've came up with a, I think, a good solution to recognize speech from, actually, let's, let's go with another folder. Let's go with the back. Let's go ASR.py. So I'm going to open up a new um, terminal. And I'm going to show you guys what of the levers that you need. So I'm gonna need, you're going to need PyTorch. So let's, uh, let's see if I can install PyTorch with a terminal. Pip install torch. Let's see if this works. Yeah, it seems to work. Um, Okay, uh, you're gonna need transformers, which is a library from Hugging Face. Okay, 
So I have this. You're gonna need pi dub. Okay. Uh, pi dub as well. And you're gonna need a, another library called, I think, mini audio. Okay. Okay, so we have all these libraries. So let's start coding. <laughs> okay. Um, let's import torch. I'm gonna need it. Uh, from transformers. Transformers. We're gonna import wave to vac. Uh, wave, wave to vac for CTC. And wave to vac. Wave to vac processor okay so these two classes this one i think is the mod itself actually yeah i think this is the mod and this is the tokenizer which deals with the tokens okay so we're gonna load the tokenizer tokenizer uh so you just need to pass the path to that model so to make the instance for the token, I'm gonna go with H wave two vac processor, and we need to pass the RL for that model. So let's go here. We need to copy this. This is the name of the model, so we just need to copy this. Okay. Uh, whatever model you use, just need to copy the, the, the text uh, up on the the name of the model. As you guys can see, oh no, <laughs> that's not the the thing it's right here um so i'm gonna copy this this okay not search copy we're gonna copy this so this is load the tokenize we're gonna need the the model itself and a wave to vac for ctc which is the same um ID, da? <laughs> I just spoke Portuguese there. <laughs> uh, so, um, doing that, I came up with a, a little bit of a complicated code, I would say. But it's the only way that I found to do this. So, we're going to need to install another library called speech recognition. Pip install speech speech recognition i think this works so uh, i need to remove this underline so you guys are gonna need this library because we're gonna use this library to do uh voice detection so let's import import uh, sr actually import speech recognition import speech recognition as sr so this library used to do i used to use this library to do speech recognition with uh box phoenix which is built in on this library uh by doing that we're going to create a new object called r which could be recognizer which is going to be equals sr sr recognizer we're gonna create uh, open up the microphone. Okay, sr dot microphone. Uh, we can pass an argument here called sample rate. We're gonna specify sixteen thousand, and this is going to be our source. And we're gonna print some a string here. Start. You can start. You can start speaking now. Okay, and while true, this is going to be an infinite loop. We're gonna do, we're gonna do audio equals r dot listen source. So this is gonna capture the audio from the microphone. So this is gonna work uh, with, as a voice automatic voice detection. Okay, so let's just print. You said something now. Okay. I'm gonna uh, uncomment this because I don't want to deal with this now. And we're gonna see we're gonna see how how does this work. So let's see. 
Uh, wait. I just misspelled something here. Wait to vac for C Wait to vac for CTC. Where is the error? Wait to vac for. Okay, I forgot a two here. Wait to vac two for CTC. Okay. Now, okay, here as well. <laughs> Because it's the wave to vec two, I think. So when they release a, a another model, okay, nice. So as you guys can see, whenever I say something different, it's it surely says something now because it's capturing my voice. Um, and it's doing the, the, the thing it's supposed to do, which is to capture different clips. So the code, uh, the code that the code that I have came up is quite uh, a little bit messy. Um, so we need to convert this. Okay. So this is the wave. Actually, this is the a pi audio object. Okay. Uh, object. So, uh, we're gonna convert this to a data object um, from the library I.O. We're gonna import another library, port I.O. So we're gonna do um, I.O. dot bytes I.O. audio dot get wave data. So this, this Pi Audio thing is, is created on the speech recognition um, library. There is this function called get wave data to get the wave. Okay. Now, um, we need a way to copy this into a NumPy um, array. To do that, I'm going to do clip equals. I'm going to need to import another library. Uh, which is PyDub done from so uh, from PyDub import audio audio segment okay so by doing that now we can <laughs> finally we can um, convert this into a NumPy array so audio segment dot from file and we pass data. So now we need to convert this into a tensor. So here we're gonna a numpy array. Numpy array. So here we're gonna a um, array of bytes. All list of bytes. I think it's more like a list of bytes. Um, to get a tensor, which I'm gonna call X for input, we're gonna do torch dot uh, dot float tensor float tensor clip dot get array of samples okay um tensor um okay so now we have these four steps just to get a tensor uh, we're gonna go with inputs, which is going to be equals um, to um, tokenizer. Do I have a tokenizer here? Okay, okay, got it. We're gonna uncomment tokenizer, tokenizer. So this tokenizer is going to convert um, this tensor into a a way to compute okay it's gonna uh, there's something it's gonna do it's when we press ask extra x uh sample sampling rate which is 1600 16000 actually so by running this um here we're gonna get our tensor which is going to have passed with the transformation that it needs to be done which is to padding and some stuff so 
another argument is return tensor, tensors, tensors, uh, PT, which is for PyTorch. Padding, we're gonna do longest. It's gonna pad, pad for the longest um, sequence dot input values. Okay. So this is going to convert our tensor from the numpy array into something that we can fit into the model. So we're gonna compute the, the output. We're gonna do with logits equals model inputs dot logits. Okay. So we got our prediction. We're gonna we can now predict the tokens. Tokens equals the torch dot argmax logits and access equals minus one. Uh, or you can get text um, uh, because we got the tokens. We can now uh, use the tokenizer, tokenizer, tokenizer dot batch decode um, tokens. So this is convert the tokens into a string. So this um, get the um, I would say probably distribution of each time step. Okay. Uh, and now we can print finally print you said and then text. Um, I'm gonna go with dot. Uh, I'm gonna convert to an str string in dot lower. Okay, so this is not much of a code, just a lot of st steps. So I'm gonna run this. Uh, okay, we got some errors here. Let's try again. Um, requiring on position wave to a position argument. Uh, with the did we forget something? Okay, <laughs> we forgot from pre-trained. Okay. Uh, okay. It's quite a bunch of code. It's not that much, twenty-five lines, but let's see. If I don't have this model installed, it should download now. So it might take a bit to do that. Um, while it's done doing that, we can guys can see the code here. So yeah, it, it seems to work now. Uh, so this is the code that I've done. to get this working. It's quite fast, actually. If you see that. So, um, this is the video, guys. Um, just need to, uh, to say something here before we go. So, there's some... Um, Thing here, you should probably train this module on a downstream test to be able to use it for predictions and predictions and inf and inference. Okay, so yeah, um, we are running uh, Wave to Vac uh, directly through the microphone. Uh, you just need you just need to be aware that this is quite a memory. Uh, it's a quite memory intensive model. You need I think three or four gigabytes just to run to load this model. So, but um, it works quite great. Um, it has very great accuracy to do a speech recognition using this model. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions or um, doubts, you guys can comment down below. And see you guys next time.